Hi, this is Pierre. This is part three of our series on anxiety and fear. And today I want to teach you a very, very special and important practice. So over the past two weeks, we've discussed how to calm yourself down, how to, how to ground yourself and how to use your breathing to help you to relax and sort of prevent anxiety before you go into a big presentation or a meeting or whatever. And uh, this week is all about facing the actual emotion, the actual anxiety and fear. Because as I'm sure you've noticed, like there's no use in trying to suppress it, in trying to ignore it, in trying to resist it. In fact, it only makes it so much stronger. So the thing that you have to do is to welcome the emotion. So that's why we're just calling this meditation a welcoming practice. So welcoming and the anxiety and the fear is not about saying that the situation that's causing it is okay. It's just saying that feeling that emotion, that that's okay for now. And then asking that emotion, what does it need? Practice is a meditation practice and it's quite an advanced practice. So if you're not an experienced meditator, I would recommend that you just actually go and learn meditation just a little bit before, before you try and attempt this practice. But it's basically sitting down in your normal meditation pose and practice, calming yourself down, and then watching out for that emotion when it rises up within you. And then recognizing it and then feeling it giving it a color, giving it a shape, feeling like the weight of it, really welcoming it and sort of staring it in the face. And then normally by this point, often, for me at least, like it would just dissipate and disappear and I would like regain this sense of calm because the energy that that emotion was holding actually worked itself out. So, but if it doesn't, the next step, the next thing that you can do is to hold that emotion as though you're holding a, a child that's hurting or crying. So it's like giving that emotion the nurture and the care and the attention that it needs. Because all emotions are actually sort of, they come to heal us. They come to bring us something. They are clues to what our soul needs. And in this meditation practice, you can then give your soul and yourself what it needs by asking your larger self or your, I'd like to think about it like your big self, to come in and give your little self, the hurting self, what it needs and then usually by that point the emotion would also dissipate and even leave a gift for you so you can try this practice i've recorded a 15 20 minute meditation practice on this where i'll guide you through the whole process and then as you're doing this practice if at any time you feel that it's getting too much and too intense you're welcome to tap out and then give it another go on another day or if a particular situation keeps on coming up then it's advisable to maybe go to a professional um, therapist and then to help to get them to help you go through that emotion and through that experience. I just want to finish off with this beautiful story. It's a story about the Buddha actually sitting and teaching his students. And I've told this story many, many times because it's such a good one. The Buddha was sitting and teaching his students and a demon walked in. The demon's name is Mara. It's called the, he's the demon of death. And the students were freaking out completely, going, go running to Buddha, running to their teacher, going, Mara is here, Mara is here. What do we do? What do we do? And then the Buddha looked up and looked at Mara and said, I see you, Mara. Let's have tea. So the point of the story is that resisting and fighting against your emotions, the negative emotions, doesn't help. It's much more helpful to sit with them, welcome them, and have tea with them. So once you get more experienced in this practice, you will be able to watch, see that anxiety come up very, very quickly and be able to almost like on the go, have tea with it, like a little bit of a tea on the run, and then deal with that in the moment as it arises. So I wish you the best, and I know that this practice will help you as much as it has helped me.